morning everyone welcome back to my channel it's a very weird look for me i haven't done my hair in a side part in a very very long time i think and it's just it's a vibe i guess um i don't know i was just like feeling it to be honest with you i was not gonna even put in my extension because i'm like like currently i'm very happy with my hair length uh but my hair doesn't have as much volume so i just put in my extensions in and it is looking fabulous i guess a few days ago very randomly i was like let me just check out asos and see what they have i haven't bought anything from asos in a pretty long time probably a few months three four months i guess i think so oh no before i go to london i did purchase a few items but like i haven't had a big order like this so let's get into the box the box is right here i'm gonna grab everything show them to you guys just like all, all my other try on hauls none of the items will be styled i'm just gonna try it on for you guys and the items that i'm keeping this styling will happen over on my instagram and um, the first item is this one that i just grabbed it out of the box this morning i've been looking for a cute sweater dress um, the cable knit cute sweater dress and honestly I haven't been very lucky um, even this one I like it but it is not white it's like this off-white beige color um, but I like it I like the design of it um, so this was the first item I was like I need something super easy I don't want to match my top to bottom or anything I just need a dress so I grabbed this one and I am wearing it with my little Chanel brush you guys know how much I love accessorizing my sweaters with my brushes it just takes it to the next level so I'll show you guys in the mirror this one. Oh my god, and how cute is the sleeves like can we appreciate the sleeves? It's just so 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 adorable Originally thought it would be longer than what it is like I was hoping it's gonna be at least like I don't know knee length, but unfortunately it is not it's like short But I regardless i'm just gonna keep it because I really really like it and I feel like with that high booty will look very very cute Um, I usually like to cinch in the waist with um belt, but I don't think this dress needs it i feel like this is such a cozy and cute dress i love the details on the sleeve i like the, like um the cable knit kind of situation um and i just love everything about it i like the design on the sleeves and the fact that it's not like puff sleeve but it has the effect of it um so even though i am not absolutely obsessed with the length of the dress and the color of the dress I'm still gonna keep it because I feel like it's a very lightweight and easy dress to throw on with like thigh high boots and you look good instantly. The item is this very very cute green sweater, again cable knit sweater, I am absolutely obsessed with this. This is from ASOS own, own brand and this is in a US 6. I think I have US 10 or 8 of it as well. Yeah, here we go. What size is this one? This is a US 10. I'm not going to take it out of the uh, plastic because I'm not planning on keeping it. I tried this on and I absolutely love how it fits. So I'm just going to hold on to this. Um, I saw it on a model that was running a little bit oversized. So that's why I went with the size 6. Ideally, I was going to go with size 8, but they didn't have it. So I went with size 6 and I'm absolutely loving it. I love the cutout on the sleeve. Like how cute is that? And I feel like this green is so pretty this time of the year. Like... It's just cute if we are we are being honest it is not the softest material like it's not like a cozy kind of situation happening it's not like itchy or irritating but it is not the softest you know uh but it's regardless very very cute and i just absolutely adore the color i'm imagining wearing this with like a um, high-waisted white pants with green shoes how fabulous would that look like my amazon green heels I think it will look like great with the brush or even a headband like that will be a very very cute and chic look and probably you guys will see that on my instagram very 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 soon um but like yeah i'm obsessed with the sweater i love everything about it as you guys can see this is a size six of it and it fits like perfectly fine and i just personally don't like too much of a boxy and um, like oversized sweaters if anything honestly i could go with the size smaller but i feel like then this area would be like too small uh or maybe the arms would be sm small i don't know so we're gonna settle for this one and i just love everything about it with a chunky gold necklace it will look fabulous another way that i'm envisioning wearing this is exactly with the same leather uh pants with uh chunky leather uh boots that have gold detail with chunky gold necklace leather jacket 
How beautiful would that be? Like, I just love when I see an item, I can envision it wearing both casually and chic at the same time. You know, that's a good piece when as soon as you look at the item, you can already like put together an outfit in your head. And this sweater is one of those items. The next items are these set of cami, like lilac color cami. And it comes with its like leg, not leg, arm warmers. I'm not a huge fan of like these kind of sets. Like I'm not a huge fan of um, arm warmers, but some of them, it can be cute and some of them can be comfortable. Most of the time they're not comfortable, but these ones are very, very comfortable. These are from a brand called Miss Selfridge. I actually really, really like this brand. I remember every single winter, I buy one or two pieces from this brand. And this is in a size US 1012. I absolutely love, love, love the color of it. And this is a lot softer than the green sweater. Um, Again, the green sweater is not itchy or anything, but this one is actually softer. And I just absolutely love, love, love the color of it. I thought during spring, actually, this will look very cute. And maybe during winter, I'm not gonna get as much wear out of it because all of a sudden, we live in North Pole. It's so, so cold in LA. I don't know how it's all of a sudden this cold. Um, but yeah, um, maybe when I'm home, I can wear it, but like going out and about, I'll freeze if I wear this. Um, but yeah, just the color of it, I thought this would be very cute for um, spring, like during Easter time. Such a beautiful lilac color. Surprisingly, one of my absolute favorite pieces from this entire haul. I just love the color, love the design. I just think it's something different from what I would usually go for and just I'm here for it. Um, it just looks fabulous. Again, I'm wearing it with my very uh, flimsy bra, so a better quality bra is needed for this top. Um, and I just absolutely love it. Love the fact that you can take the warmer, um, let not leg warmer, why do I keep calling it leg warmer? The arm warmer out if you're like hot or something and just wear the tank top. I just love everything about it. So this one is staying out as well. The next item is sadly sold out, but I'm just gonna show it to you guys. I'm gonna link it as well in case it comes back in stock. How beautiful is this? Is this very beautiful white skirt with all pearls on it when i saw this online i was like okay i need to have this in my life it's very very cute and they only had the size um it says uk 14 so that's us 10 i was like i'm just gonna buy it and we're just gonna give it a try if it fits me it fits me if it didn't fit me then i tried my luck and very very luckily it does fit me it's a pretty heavy skirt because obviously it has all the pearls on it and it has a slit in the back to make it easier to walk um, it's midi length and i absolutely love 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 it i still don't know how am i gonna style it because that's the thing with like bedazzled skirts um, or even tops when they don't come in a set like how do you style them i was thinking with a very simple zara bodysuit or maybe a white uh, like crisp white um sweater that can be a cute cozy look you know what i'm gonna do a styling of this item on my instagram because i feel like you can wear it in different ways truth be told i have lost probably half of the pearls and the sparkles on this dress while i was trying to get into it um it is pretty tight but i got myself into it and i am obsessed with it it's such a beautiful 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 skirt it's just it's just stunning um i think it's cute with the sweater but i don't think it's something i would go for probably i would wear it with my basic zara uh bodysuit i think that will look a little bit more cute or even with the black one i mean i'm not a black and white person that's the thing if you're a black and white person with a black top this will look fabulous but i don't wear black and white um, so I was thinking with maybe a nude um, bodysuit or a white one if it would look cute. And I think this sweater works, but at the same time, I feel like a chunkier sweater would look a little bit more chic. But like a brooch, like a Chanel pearl brooch that would look fabulous with my pearly white shoes. Um, but um, yeah, here it is. I absolutely love it, even though it's a little bit small on me and I forced myself into it but i'm still gonna keep it because i really really like it love the length of it love obviously the design of it and i just really hope i don't lose more of the pearls and the sparkles um on my next try basically going with the same theme of 
pearls. We have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dress in this chocolate brown with like brown pearls in it. How beautiful is this? When I saw this online, I was like, okay, I need to have this in my life. I bought it in a size US 12. Um, it has like this corset design. I don't know if you guys can see everything from this side. It's not that visible. I mean, it is visible, but like it's double lined, thankfully. But it is such a beautiful dress. I showed this on my Instagram as well because I was like, I can't weight um the strap is adjustable which is one of the perfect things about this dress um and just absolutely love it i love the length of it i love everything about this dress basically i am absolutely obsessed with this dress it's so beautiful so flattering i just love everything about it i have to adjust the straps just a little bit so it sits a little bit higher like i would ideally want it to be here and it's just like so, so, so pretty. I love the fabric, I love the design, love the color, love everything about it. And again, not only this can be a holiday outfit, but I feel like I can get a lot of wear out of it all year round, but especially holiday season with the pearls, it's perfection. I legitimately think I have not stopped talking about um, the new look leather leggings ever since I got them probably like three, four years ago absolutely love 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 them i get a pair every single year um they are very inexpensive i think i bought it for 35 dollars something like that and ever since my weight loss surgery i have been obviously losing weight and my size is changing and um the one that i had from last year was a little bit big on me so i sized down in it i got it in a size us 8 when i get it in a petite absolutely love the quality of it absolutely love the quality of the leather it's so thick it's lined inside with this very very fuzzy and soft material so comfortable it's just a dream um they had one i always every time that i mention this i mention the plus size version as well because the plus size version is my absolute favorite but unfortunately it starts from a size 12 and even the size 12 is pretty big on me um, the plus size version doesn't have this zipper on the side and it's super high waisted. It has an elastic on the top, which is my absolute favorite thing. Even though the uh, regular uh, version of it doesn't have the elastic one, uh, all of them have a zipper next to them. I still absolutely love it. I have tried many, many leather leggings from all different stores and nothing come close to the new look leather leggings they're just fabulous quality nothing happens to them like i have pretty long and sharp nails and then when i wear them especially this one that is a new one it's like a size smaller so like i literally pull them off with my nails and literally nothing ever happens to them they're such a good quality and obviously a fabulous fabulous price and i love the fact that they come in regular size they come in petite and they come tall and they come in a plus size like perfect it can that i love brands that cater to all sizes okay maybe size 8 was not the smartest choice for these leather pants uh but you know what i'm gonna keep it because i know a few times after wearing it i'm gonna sneeze give me one second that was a very heavy sneeze uh but yeah i know after a few times of wearing this uh, it will probably loosen up um, and it will fit a lot more comfortable. I'm just absolutely obsessed, obsessed with these leather leggings. They're just so comfortable and cute and just end of the story. They are just fabulous. I saw this bodysuit a few months ago. I think Susie was wearing it um, on a reel or maybe she was doing a haul. And I think she, it was not this item, it was a similar item. Um, but I, th I think I saw a blogger was wearing this and I wanted to get it, but at the time they didn't have my size and they just restocked and while I was buying this, all sizes were available. Um, I bought this in a size US 10. How beautiful is this? It's this one shoulder pink, dusty pink bodysuit um, with again like white pearls all over it um it's not excessive it's just like here and there um but i just fell in love with the sleeve of it it has like a puff sleeve and then one sleeve is super long and the other one is obviously it's no sleeve sleeveless um i just thought maybe for festive season it would be cute i don't know it's just a cute bodysuit like you don't have to wear this only festive season this can be a perfect bodysuit during spring and summer as well uh, I just really hope that the top section fits me nicely. So this is probably the only item that is being returned is this bodysuit and this bodysuit. And the only reason that I'm returning, so I'm trying to tuck in the extra bit of it, 
is because it's really tight on me. I can't breathe and like this section is pulling. This is not one of those bodysuits that it clasps underneath. If it was one of those, I would have just like basically opened up the clasp. But it's one of those that you have to actually wear it from your legs because it doesn't have the clasps underneath. Um, so it makes it a little bit difficult to wear and this section of it is a little bit small on me. Um, like this section is actually pulling and I'm scared like it's gonna rip. Uh, besides that, it's a very, very cute uh, bodysuit. I feel like this is going to be perfect for holiday season or even non-holiday season. It's just such a beautiful bodysuit. It's just very small on me. So I'm going to see if they have a size bigger and I'm going to try a one size bigger. This is a size 10. I'm going to order a size 12 and hopefully that will work out. Like I absolutely love, love, love the arm design of it. How beautiful and chic is that? So cute. Does it come lower than that? Oh yeah, sorry. Let's just bring it, there we go. So, so, so pretty. I'm a sucker for ribbed material tops that have these kinds of uh, neck. It's just, I just love it. It's just so cute and flattering. I can't help it. <laughs> so, I feel like, you know what it is? I think this is what I like about it. Because there are like super light material, you know, at nighttime you, when you want to go out, like you want it to look a little bit more fancy, you don't want to wear like your chunky chunky sweaters. I feel like these are a great version to that because you're going to put your coat on top of it, you're still going to be warm, it is still wintry, but it's not like a chunky casual sweater, you guys know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I got this white one, I absolutely love, love, love the design of it, I just really hope it fits me nicely because the neckline of it seems to be a little bit loose. I got this in a size US 10 in this crisp white color and I just absolutely love it. It's long sleeve um, and it's just so cute. I need to change my bra because I'm wearing like a strapless bra and it doesn't have the best hold. I need to change my bra. That's the first thing I need to do. Uh, but the thing is that I can't wear a bra with straps because the things on the sides are so like, like it's so far down unless I like pull the bra straps on these areas, which I don't even think that's possible. I don't think it will look good or be comfortable. So that's, that's the only thing with this top or I have to pull this a little bit more down maybe. Um, yeah, this bra that I'm wearing is not the strongest hold, so it just doesn't look flattering. But regardless, I'm going to keep the top because I just absolutely love it. Love the feet, love the color, love the design. So it is staying. Next up, we have this velvet, it's actually a misguided dress. Um, I saw this online and I had a look in mind, um, which probably you guys will see this on an Instagram reel soon. Um, so I bought this very cute one shoulder, very simple black dress. It, it is pretty mini, but I feel like you can, because it has this like roachings on the side, you can pull it down as well. Um, I have to try it, but we'll try it together and we'll see if we can do that. Um, but it's just a very simple black um, velvet dress. I'm planning on accessorizing this with sparkly tights. We'll see if that's going to work out or not. Uh, because that can go tacky really quickly. Uh, but I just wanted a basic, um, what do you call it, um, velvet dress and I found it. As I was saying, you can wear it long like this. I mean, it is not too long, it's exactly at my knee. Or you can have it like so, like the ruching will come up and have it like mini like this. Um, and I absolutely love it both ways. I will probably wear it like this with the sparkly um, ties that I was telling you guys um, because that's just the look that I have in mind. I feel like with, oh my God, I'm missing a velvet bow. That's what I need to order from Amazon, a velvet black bow. Uh, I mean, I have another black one, but I feel like a velvet one will complete the look or a sparkly one. I'm so sorry, it's so dark. Like it's literally one of the gloomiest days ever. Um, but yeah, here is the black velvet dress and I'm just like absolutely obsessed with it It's so cute so flattering and I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of it surprise surprise We have another <laughs> ribbed material sweater. I actually really like this one as well. It's like a high neck sweater in this I don't know what color is it cream yellowish undertone white um, color um, sweater and it has like cut out on this area I got this in a size US medium. Let's just hope it's gonna fit me. And this is from a brand called M Lounge. It is super soft material. 
um, and it's just a very cute one I thought with high-waisted pants with jeans even with skirts it would look very very cute I like this little like peekaboo kind of situation let's just try this on and see how does this fit do I have millions of cream or white sweaters yes but am I gonna keep this again yes just love it love this as I said this peekaboo section of it I don't even know what are these styles called but I just love this design. I'm not obsessed with the color, to be honest with you guys. I just don't like yellow undertone tops. That's my thing. But at the same time, I have tons of them because sometimes when the top is too white, you can't wear it with everything. But this one, like the ones that are like this, they have like a beige creamy undertone. You can match it up with black. You can match it up with jeans. You can match it up with like different kinds of pants. Um, I'm imagining wearing this with my Zara high-waisted green, um, what do you call it, uh, jeans. That will look very, very cute. I just put together an outfit in my head and I love that uh, with like big chunky earrings. It's just gonna look fabulous. I really, really like this sweater. I think the fit of it is really nice. It's super comfortable. Um, so this will be staying as well. The very last item in my ASOS box is this pair of tights uh, that I'm not gonna try it on for you guys, but I'm gonna insert the picture of the model wearing it because tights are very tricky. I don't wanna uh, wear it and then um, rip it and not get a wear out of it basically. I got this in a size large and it was just a very cute design. Um, I have my Gucci ones that I wear most of the times, but I just wanted a non-brand one because sometimes I wanna wear my Chanel belt and I feel like Gucci tied Chanel belt is a little bit too much. Um, so yeah, I got this one. I still wanted the pattern one, uh, but I didn't want the logo one basically. So I got this one, I'm pretty sure it will fit me because I had um, another tights from this brand is called my accessories London and it was the same size and it fits perfectly uh, So I'm pretty sure it will fit me But I will let you guys know by the time this video goes live because I'm planning on wearing this um, this weekend These are everything that I got from um, ASOS. I just want to show them to you guys at the beginning of this video Now I have to go for a photo shoot and then I have a call so let's go ahead and do all of that and then Later in the day, after I'm done with work bits a little bit, oh, I still have to edit today's video that is gonna go live. It's an insanely busy day. Um, later today, I want to make a brie deep, like cheese brie cheese deep with blueberries. I found a recipe online yesterday. We're just gonna give it a try and see if it's gonna work out or not because we have a little bit of um, cheese left um, from a few days ago. So. Uh, I was like, let's just try and see if I'll be able to make a deep out of it. So that's what we're gonna do together. But after I am done with all of my work, so I just laid out the baguette, and this is a trick that maybe some of you guys know, but it was very new to me. So I got this baguette yesterday and sometimes happens when you get the bread it gets like really really hard and how you make it look fresh and like taste fresh and like like crisp on the outside and soft on the inside is you basically run the baguette through like the bread either this one or any kind of loaf bread uh, you run it under water so as you guys can see they're a little bit wet so after I cut them I um, what do you call it run them under the water and now i'm gonna put it on toast after the toast i'm gonna drizzle some olive oil and then put them back in the toast for like another um two minutes and then they're gonna taste fresh and they're gonna be like perfect crispy but at the same time like exactly like they just got out of the oven so that's a trick that i just learned in case you guys didn't know try it and thank me later My brie is already cut from the other day so all I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna put it in a foil and I'm gonna put the jam um, like in between them basically. Oh 
Oh my god, what a day. I am in my comfies because it's just the mood called for comfies. I just wanted to show you guys a couple of items that I got from Amazon. The first one being is this sparkly tight that um, I tried it on, but um, it's small. It's not comfortable whatsoever, but it is very... I mean, this doesn't do it justice the way that I'm going to hold it up, but it has like... It's a fishnet kind of situation, and it has like all sparkles on it. And um, well, obviously when you wear it, it stretches out. And honestly, it's not the best quality. That's why I don't want to wear it again on, in, unless like I'm actually wearing it to an event or I'm wearing it for the reels that I was going to do. Um, so yeah, here's the sparkly tights that I got. Um, and if you're a size up to size 10, I think this will fit you if you're above size 10 unfortunately this will be too small and like it's a very flimsy material but again it's just it was just was cute and it was pretty much it was the only option that i had available on amazon prime because i'm gonna record the reels probably tomorrow um but yeah i just want to show you guys the sparkly ties and then i think this is a ring that i got um so the ring that i always wear on my hand the one that is on this ring i actually just took it out because it's just i went for a photo shoot by the way i don't know if i told you guys or not i went for a photo shoot came back um and i was just like exhausted <laughs> and um i edited a few reels and stuff work beats and stuff anyway long story short um i was just like tired i took out all my jewelry and stuff now honestly i was gonna wash my makeup and then we decided to go out to dinner then i'm like i'm not gonna wash my makeup and do it again i'm just gonna touch this makeup up make up up hold on a second i'm just gonna touch this makeup up is that correct if you guys don't know english is my literally third language is it third yeah third language <laughs> can you guys tell how tired i am anyway so that's why um i just got into comfies because i was like when we're going out to dinner i'll dr get dressed and stuff but what was i saying that i went to the tangent of like random bits so my ring that i was wear that i always wear on my hand one of the diamonds actually fell and like that broke my heart into pieces and that ring has been sold out ever since last year and they're not bringing it back um so i saw this on amazon and i this was the most similar diamond setting i could find to the one that i had because i don't like one stone it's very engagementy um i mean not that if it had many stone it couldn't be engagementy but like to me like one stone is like my preferred engagement <laughs> ring um and I just like the shape of mine. So I found this on Amazon. Oh, this is cute. But it's like raised. It is not flat. So as you guys can see, it has very similar like diamond shape. Um, and the only difference that I would say it is like it has, it, this is raised. Like this section of it. Hello, focus is on it so see this is raised mine is like flat on the actual band and this one doesn't have the diamonds next to the band mine has diamonds on the band um this is big actually on me what size did i get this is a size six and i am a size six but it is big on me but i don't know if i like the fact that it is raised I came across a very random Instagram page um, that had jewelry from UK, I believe. I ordered a few rings from them. They had very, very cute rings. Um, I think those were gold-plated. Um, they're not that insanely expensive. Um, I think I'm going to hold on to this until that one arrives. Um, and see which one i like better well those ones are completely different style they're not like this there are three diamond but the shape of the diamonds are not like this like i guess oval style um they are square i believe um but um i don't know i kind of like this i like that it's very similar to mine but i don't like the fact that it is so raised um 
honestly i think in person it looks prettier than it looked online yeah i think i'm gonna hold on to it it's a cute one the way that it is raised it reminds me of a ring that my grandma had and it's like i think the raised ones are a little bit vintage looking especially when all of the diamonds are raised i don't think this is the best quality like probably if it gets into water it's gonna change color um but it's a cute one it's almost 5 p.m and i'm literally falling asleep so what i'm gonna do i'm actually going to take like a 30 minute nap like i actually feel like i need a 30 minute nap this is not something that a coffee can fix it I'm gonna have a 30 minute nap and then get up and have my half caffeinated Nespresso and then get ready for dinner basically uh, my eyeliner today looks very bad like I cleaned it three times and redid it my eyebrows don't look the best either so ideally if I was not this tired I would have like washed my face and redid my entire makeup but honestly can't be dedicated enough to do all of that um so i'm just gonna go take a nap so it can be a little bit more alive for dinner good morning everyone we have a beautiful beautiful sunny day i mean to be honest with you it is uh, towards end of the day it is not the morning whatsoever it is 4 10 p.m i mean very close to sunset i don't know why i said good morning everyone Ooh, the sun it feels good though the sun feels good i'm headed to go to target and michael's trying to find affordable ornaments i'm helping my friend um decorate um his lounge's christmas tree um and um he thought he has ornaments but he does not have any um so he just went and bought the christmas tree and i was like okay i'll go buy the decorations obviously there's my favorite store avs that you guys know i buy my christmas decorations from them that's the last 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 resort because the ornaments there are pretty like expensive i was like i'm just gonna first go to target because my mom was at target yesterday and she told me she saw a few ornaments there so we're gonna go at target and try to find ornaments if i was not able to find target uh, ornaments from target and michael's then the last resort is going to AVs and buy their cheapest ornaments possible and with it being so close to Christmas like this is a Friday before Christmas every store every street is insanely busy so I'm really hoping I'll be able to find even parking at Target just generous speaking just wish me luck <laughs> So, did I get the most beautiful ornaments out there? No. But was I successful? Yes. Target didn't have anything. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, because my mom went to another Target and I went to another Target. So, Target was like empty. The shelves were empty. I actually took a picture of it. It was insane. Uh, but uh, Michael's, thankfully, had red. So, I got these ones. I got like quite a bit of those um like these are the two kinds of the small ones that i got basically whatever they had i grabbed it i was like if we don't use it then i'll just bring it back and then i bought two kinds of these mini ones white and gold probably i'm not gonna use the silver ones um my friend's lounge is um red the walls are red so we're going with the red theme and then i got this clear big bubbles there's not that many they only had one pack left and then i bought this christmas garland i thought we can take these out and put it inside the clear ones maybe that will look cute i don't know um i got these that are not my favorite but i thought maybe we can use it as like fillers I got 10 of those and then bought lights they didn't have that many lights so i got this miniature ones and i got two kinds basically these ones are the small ones these ones are a little bit bigger i got a few packs of those and what else did i get these hook thingies so we can use it for the ornament so very happy i'm excited i'm very very excited to go and start decorating the tree i'm very late like i'm an hour and a half late but oh sorry you guys we're gonna fall 
yeah, I'm an hour and a half late, but it's okay. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. All year long I've been keeping track of when I've been naughty and nice. And from what I can tell, I've done more good deeds than I've told lies. I can only Like every single time that I am recording, I have to put this background. It's just generally speaking, the entire December, every single day when I wake up, I put this playlist on. It's like a 10 hour classical jazz Christmas music. It's just a vibe basically. So I just turned it on for you guys as well to have it in the background to get you in a festive mood. If by now, which we are almost near Christmas, if you're not in a festive mood, then I hope this background does it for you but anyway good morning everyone i got up a little while ago got ready for the day immediately did my makeup really quickly because i have a little bit of campaign to shoot for the day and then i realized that i have not closed up this video today and tomorrow are actually my last working days which you guys have no idea how excited i am um i'm excited to be just a catch potato and do absolutely nothing besides uh, catching up on my favorite movies, favorite shows, and all of that. Um, that's one of the things I absolutely love love about the bit between Christmas and New Year. As much as it's a little bit of a confusing time, but I like the fact that like you do absolutely nothing, basically. Um, I mean, that's the case for me, because work is basically much done until the New Year, which makes me very, very, very happy. So most likely you guys won't see any videos from me until the new year, which is like insane. Um, I will still be active over on my Instagram, so in case you want to see more of these, follow. make sure you follow me on my Instagram. I still will post, like I still have like work things that I have to post, but just behind the scenes while I'm not vlogging, I will go ahead and um, be active on my Instagram basically a little bit more. Uh, so with that being said, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I really hope you guys enjoyed this holiday season um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you all Wishing you all a fantastic fantastic year ahead and I will see you all in 2022 Bye